Hello and welcome to another episode of The Distinguished Geek. So today's episode is a bit of a special one and it's essentially an unboxing of one of these which is called a Z-Box. It comes from Zavi.com. This one is a special one which I'll come back to in a minute. So first I will talk about what Z-Boxes are. So Z-Boxes are your typical uh, mystery subscription box that there's lots out there. Uh, but Zbox is uh, one of many different companies. So a Zbox generally contains, uh, it includes an exclusive design t-shirt. It has between four to seven uh, products in each box worth over 35 pounds. Um, and there'll be discounts uh, for subscriptions uh, for three, six and 12 months. Um, if you go on to uh, zari.com and use the code Zbox, you receive your first box for 10 quid. So the prices start between uh, 16.99 and up, depending obviously on the size of the box and uh, your monthly subscriptions. So this one, however, is a little bit different. So bless her, my wonderful wife bought this for me. So this one is the Star Wars limited edition um, Z box. It's got uh, five products in here worth over £40. Um, so it's, it's £14.99, but the products are worth over £40. There were 500 uh, made, so it's a limited edition, and unfortunately they're now all out of stock. So I have no idea what's in this box. So this is going to be, I'm going to be literally with you guys. So we're going to open this box and see what's inside. So it's quite exciting. So shall we start it? Let's do it. Let's get started. So this is the Z box. Uh, came today. So let's have a look. Exciting. Ah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Here we go. Ah. Okay. I'm not sure. I can't, I can't tilt it to the uh, camera, so we'll we'll use each one. I'll bring one out and you can have a look what is inside the box. So the first one here is a ceramic. It's a coffee mug. Star Wars. I love my coffee. Um, more than water. So, excellent. It's quite cool. So, I don't know if you can see it. Actually, what I'll do, I'll take the cellophane or cling film, I don't know. I'm not be too American here because I'm British. Okay. Do you know I'm quite surprised at that? It's actually ceramic, you know, expecting to be like plastic, but it's actually good quality that is. Um, so yes, yeah, so the prints you've got there. And you've got the Star Wars emblem there. It's an actual rubber uh, lid. So it's pretty good. Now, the one thing I will tell you from experience on these mugs, it doesn't keep the, the, your coffee um, hot for long. Um, it will fit in the car, because I have loads of different ones and they don't fit because the two wide bottoms. This one will fit in your cup holder, but just bear in mind that it will not keep um, your coffee warm for a whole journey. I used to drive to Truro, which was about I don't know, 30 minutes, 20 minutes, and by the time I got there, it was lukewarm, so bear that in mind, but really good quality though. Okay, next one. Key ring. And it is a Darth Vader, and it's got buttons, so make noises. Should we see if it works? That's cool. Okay, enough now. You all right? Hang on. Okay, there you are. So... There's four buttons, so the second button does this. Nothing. Hey! R2D2, my favourite droid. Okay, third button. When 900 years old, you reach, look as good as you or not. Hmm? Ah, Yoda. Fourth, last button. 
Oh, we see three PO, would it? Do you think you see three PO? No. Oh. That's a good sound. Nice. Like that. Good. So it's quite a bulky, as you can see. So probably the only thing you can attach to your keys. Um, unfortunately, all your store cards go. Um, but it's got a, a quite a large clip, so it looks like it'll probably just hang on a belt or something like that. But um, uh, yeah, so I'll, I'll I don't know. I'll put, I'll put, I don't know where I'll hang that. I'll find a place to hang that. So it's good. Good. Right. Okay. What's this? Sticky notes set. I like the design. I love that. I really like that. Actually, my wife will love the design on top of that. That's the, uh, what do you call that? What do you call this, this design on the... Geometrics. Geometrics. Yeah. So. Awesome. Right, let's have a look inside this. I'm rubbish at this. I'm really rubbish at opening things. I'm just like there for hours. For crying out loud. There we are. Okay. Sorry, guys. Ooh, look. Oh, look. Magnetic. That's good. Ooh. I think, I think I've lost this to my wife. I think she'll have this instead. Um, so, you've got... Can you see the print? Basically the same print. You can't see it, but it's the same print as the box. It's got the Stormtrooper with the geometric... I think it's called. Um, uh, and then you've got basically a smaller version of a... A sticky note. Yeah. I've just noticed on each page it's basically a print. Can you see? It's got like a, a really faint background on it. It's quite cool. And then these I think are tags. I have to read the box, but that. Yeah? So Set of five, oh no, okay, these are all sticky pads, they're different types, so it's set of five sticky notepads, so these are all just different pads. I don't know what you can do on this one, there's not much you can write on that, but, huh? I do. Oh, you do? Yeah, okay, so my wife knows how to use that, so <laughs> I've definitely lost this. Um, okay, that's cool, so... It's not really five if you think about it, because look, there's there's three of those and then two of those, so really there's only three, but yeah, there is five altogether, but you know, I, would, I thought maybe like five different types, but they're, they're really good. So these are all storm trooper heads, and then you've got you've got the um TIE Fighter. And then you've got the uh, Stormtrooper with a geometric design. Good for unis, taking notes. Yeah, good for unis. Yeah, taking notes on sticky notes. Okay, cool. Right, so that's the third product. So we have two more. Ooh, yay, look at that. Okay. Finn, it actually looks like him as well. You know, these dolls don't resemble very well, do they? But if I don't like, like him very much. So, it's a vinyl bobblehead. Go with my collection. I've already got, oh no, I've got three. You haven't seen the third one yet. I bought that from the Comic Con in London. Um, so I've got two up there, one upstairs of a Stormtrooper. I bought? Yeah, I bought a Stormtrooper. Uh, it was a Sand Trooper or something like that. I don't know. But yeah, and then you got this one here. So this one's, this is good. It's quite big, isn't it? Should we open it up? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. That's cool. Uh, ah, that's awesome, isn't it? 
So, yep. So it seems from feeling it that the head is heavier than the base, where normally you find that the base or the feet are quite heavy sort of to keep them um, sort of set in place. But the base is quite wide, which is probably going to be counteracting the weight. So it's, it doesn't really matter. But yeah, so it's pretty cool, isn't it? I like that. I actually love that. That's really cool. There's some detail on that, isn't it? Look at the eyes. Even the, even the eyes got really good detail. See it? That's pretty cool. Yeah. It's really good. Okay. Last but not least. Wow. And absolutely everything you need to know about Star Wars. Look at that. Yeah. So that's probably what's going to be costing the most out of all that. So, see it? Yeah? Okay. So, whoa. Look at that. Love it, yeah. Yeah, Chef Florence. As you've seen in previous vlogs and episodes when I go to Comic Con, she hates Stormtroopers, so she'll probably run a mile when she's this. So it's Star Wars, every, absolutely everything you need to know. Um, content, so you've got, obviously in the front, you've got pictures of previous films. As you can see, yeah, and massive contents. Yeah. So products are basically, Okay, yeah, so it's essentially facts. If you look at this is the first page, and as you can see, it's basically all the information about the characters, uh, past characters and present characters, and it looks like it gives all the information of where they were born, um, what their ranks are, and all this stuff. So yeah. yeah, it's essentially like an encyclopedia for Star Wars. Um, but not just that, so if you look in here, I've just noticed that it's also got all about the, it's not just the films, but the animation. So like the Clone Wars that have come out and stuff like that, so it's all in here. Um, oh, that's cool to know, look at that. The history of Stormtroopers. That's cool. This is gonna be a good read, I like this. So, yeah, so that, and it's DK. Now, I love DK. Now, yes, okay, so my wife is letting me know this. Here we are. Okay, thank you. So these are my other DK books. So this one I got recently, actually. Um, so this is the updated and expanded um, Avengers Ultimate Character Guide. So very similar to the Star Wars, just gives you information about the characters and everything about them. Um, I'll just give you an option, I'll just give you an example, things like that. See? Yeah. I know we're sort of diverting me from the Star Wars, but I'm just going to show you these so you understand. And then I got the Marvel one here, which is about Hulk. Um, and again, it's not just about Hulk. Hulk's on the front cover, but again, as you can see, just rough ideas of characters. It, it just shows you so many different characters and how it links. You may not have even seen these characters yet, or they may have just done a little cameo, but it, it just tells you everything about them and how they became. Because if you know about a lot of Marvel and a lot of the characters, especially in the, in the early years, um, and if you go back to previous um, episodes, I've, I've talked about that, and it's basically about um, how the characters have um, evolved over time to keep with trend. So essentially when the, when the guys went to the Second World War, um, all these sort of characters that we now know were obsolete because the people left behind were, were the women and the children and they obviously didn't want the readers so they had to get the new readers which are women so that all the female characters came out. So when the war ended, those female characters, which were simply people like uh, Tilly the Typist and Millie the Model, 
they had to be converted and, and become superheroes, so they became more cape crusaders. So this is what these books are all about. They're showing you how these characters evolved over time. And then you've got this one here, which is the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, which I love. I love this one. Um, and in here, it gives you insight of the new Guardians of the Galaxy, not the three, which may not even get made now because obviously uh, the hoopla are happening in Disney. Um, but um, the if you, end of the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy 2, you saw the uh, the clip or with uh, Sylvester Stallone and all this stuff, and obviously, you know, and Mainframe and and um, and all and Martina X, which all these different characters, they they were the original Guardians of the Galaxy before um, Star Lord and stuff like that. So so in here it tells you everything about how they became uh, to light. There we go. Right. So back to Z box. Okay. So that is um, the Z box. Is what you know. Um, what's that? So that is the Star Wars. Oh right, so how much on Amazon? It's worth so it's normally seventeen ninety nine, but Amazon is nine pounds eighteen. Yeah, so that's pretty good. Um so worth forty pounds? Worth fourteen ninety nine. Worth fourteen ninety nine. I mean it does say it's it's the products are worth over forty pounds. I don't know if I would go far as forty pounds. I mean, I would probably say the most expensive thing out of these two would be the bobblehead because they usually average around about twenty quid, don't they? I mean, those standard bobbleheads, um, your standard small bobbleheads, they about twenty pounds, nine ninety nine, five. This thing here is five pounds. Mm -hmm. So that there is five pounds. All right. So. And seven pounds on Amazon. Um, doesn't actually okay. This is worth. This is seventeen ninety nine. Like we said, it's worth seventeen ninety nine, but you can get it for nine pounds. So this is probably the most expensive item in the box, which is contributing to the forty pounds. Um, <sighs> sticky notes don't actually have a price, but. I don't know, I mean, I will try and find the price and if I can't find a price in a minute, I will stick it in the description below. Um, but normally sticky notes, that, I mean, because it's Star Wars, it's going to be a little bit more, but normally sticky notes, they average between, what, five and ten pounds, don't they? Especially if they're um, the characters, you know, themed. So, um, and let's have a look. No price on the coffee mug, and again, I would say roughly from experience of buying these coffee, coffee mugs on this, they roughly start from about ten pounds, nine ninety nine upwards. So yeah, so essentially, if that was going for the full price there, at seventy ninety nine, and let's say nine ninety nine for that, that's almost what? That's almost thirty pounds, thirty pounds, and you're looking for an extra ten. That would make sense. So that's showing five pounds, but but it's roughly yeah worth about eight pounds. And then if you add the key ring, which obviously I wouldn't, again, key rings roughly, I would say what, between 3 99 upwards usually, don't I? But you know, and then you've got your sticky notes. Yeah, it'll probably add to about over 40 pounds. So yes, yeah, so the products will be. So, but it's good. I'm, I'm, I am happy with what's in the box. It's cool. So I will be using this because I have a dilemma. Every, I will, I've got two Star Wars coffee cups. I've got one just left at work. And if I've got that money, I'll take it to the nearest coffee shop down the road, which is my Cafe Nero. Um, I am a Starbucks lover. Um, I'm not going to sing the Taylor Swift song, but there we are. Um, but um, I can't fit it in my car, so I'll leave one at work and I'll just leave one here. Um, but this one will now fit my car. But like I said before, your coffee, no, doesn't keep warm. Cool. There we are. So that was all right. Um, 
So what's coming next, also, uh, should be not too, not too long, is a coin collection thing. So basically it's like an advent calendar. Again, it's from uh, Zavi. It's a limited edition. How many were made? 5,000. 5,000. Um, there were two. There was a Star Wars one and there was the Infinity War. And I got the Infinity War. So that's coming. So that will be soon. Um, five pounds for the notes. Five pounds for the notes. So five pounds for that. So, 79, yeah, so I did say. Oh. Mm, yeah, yeah. About 30 pounds you bought it all online. 30 pounds? Yeah. If you bought it individually. Four more four pounds, yeah. 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 yeah, so if you bought them online from Amazon and places like that, yeah. it'll cost you about 30 pounds. Yeah. yeah, it'll cost you about 30 pounds, but it's worth 40 pounds if at full price. So, yeah, so RRP, yeah, the you know respect to retail price whatever you call it it's yeah it's worth over 40 pounds but you can get them cheaper individually um if you go on to amazon and stuff like that uh yeah but yeah go back to the coin collection so that's coming soon and it'll be an unboxing of that um that's actually quite exciting so yeah guys okay yes that was quite cool i been looking forward to it all day to open this. So my wife's been telling me to have a sneak peek, a sneak peek, but I didn't want to, because I don't like doing that. I love surprises. So yeah, so this is um my favorite, I love this. Yeah, cool. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Um, you see my trailer for the holiday vlog, so though that film, or documentary uh, it will be coming out uh, very very soon so keep an eye out for that um, and yes so a few more episodes in the pipeline um, so just keep an eye out but please you know um, carry on please please uh, liking and please leave comments because I you know I just want to hear how you feel these videos are because you know um, you know tell me the truth you know because this is I'm new to this, you know, so it'd be great for me to learn from you guys what you like to hear, uh, what you don't like me doing, so at least I know I can do, I can make the videos better for you. Um, but also, uh, please like and please subscribe because it's, you know, I am new to this and it's exciting I'm trying to get a new subscriber. So I'm at 55 now, so thank you to all of you for making me hit that 50 pound, uh, 50 pound, 50, 50, 50 pounds. 50 mark and I now want to aim for the hundred so not too far um, and just tag that little bell because that's a notification so every time a video comes out you get notified um, but there we go so yes thank you very much once again guys for watching uh, and I'll just repeat myself so please like share and subscribe and I shall see you soon goodbye The end.